Why hello there, I am Fatima Barak Hussein, Helen Thomas. As you may know, women here in Saudi Arabia are not allowed to drive cars. Government says that if women drive cars, they will no longer be virgins. Let me be the first to tell you, this is quite true. If a woman can drive, first thing she will do is to drive into a strange man's home and make love to him. In fact, she will be so excited that she will probably crash the car into the man's tent. The only way we women manage to restrain ourselves from making love to men is to have no access to them. For me, the closest unrelated man to make love to is at least a two mile walk in that direction. That is way too far to walk to make forbidden love. The desert sands are very hot and by the time I walk there, all the lust will be drained out of me. Fortunately, Saudi men do not have this problem because they are fully able to control their lust. They are free to drive anywhere they like. I know that no Saudi man would ever, ever make love to a woman. I know this well because I've been waiting for five years for my husband to do this for me. And he never has. He says he's always working late at the office. And when he comes home, he is too tired. And even when I found a strange woman's pubic hair in his coat pocket, I knew it must have accidentally fallen in there somehow. The Saudi government has another good reason for not letting women drive. The government says that if women could drive, a lot of them would become lesbians. Lesbians. This is very true. Many, many women in Saudi Arabia would really like to become lesbians, but do not have convenient transportation for it. The minute we get cars, we will all form rugby teams and take lady lovers. I myself got behind the wheel of a car once and I felt the powerful urge to go and kiss a woman. I fantasized about a lady in the next valley who had large bazoons. Ah, oh, you call them, you call them camels who I'd go to and madly make lesbian love to the way only Saudi Arabian women can. Fortunately, my husband, he caught me and saved me with a proper whipping. I cannot tell you how grateful I was afterwards. I hope you will now have a better understanding why women in my culture really enjoy being fourth class citizens. I will now leave you with another example of my proud and ancient 14th century culture performing a desert dance 